Our aging process is not well understood. In fact, we often wonder and ask ourselves that question. Why do we age? How do we prolong life? Is there a secret formula? These are all great questions, but unfortunately it has yet to be determined. However, there's been shown to be a link between telomeres and aging. So what are telomeres? In order to answer that question, let's first do an overview of DNA and our genetic makeup. DNA is mostly localized inside the nucleus of a cell. It is a double-stranded, twisted molecule that is organized into structures called chromosomes. DNA contains the genetic instructions and data that define who we are. The ends of chromosomes contain stretches of DNA called telomeres, which serve as protective caps. They are analogous to the way shoelaces are protected by plastic caps. Without the presence of telomeres, DNA strands are susceptible to damage. DNA is characterized by a specific chemical code. It is made up of four nucleic acid bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Telomeres exist at the ends of strands in the form of tandem repeats, which serve as a disposable buffer to protect gene-rich coding DNA. Telomeres have a specific sequence, which is TTAGGG, paired with the complementary strand AATCCC. It is repeated thousands of times over and accounts for the unique and unusual mechanism of semi-conservative DNA replication, which leaves it with the end replication problem since the 3' end remains single-stranded and exposed as an overhand in the form of TTAGGG. One pair, such as thymine and adenine, is referred to as a base pair. It is estimated that newborns have approximately 8,000 to 15,000 telomeric base pairs, while the elderly can have as low as 2,000 to 5,000. To get an idea of what this means, consider the fact that there are about 100 million base pairs in the entire length of a chromosome. While telomeres protect the coding regions of DNA, they shorten with each cellular division. In order to ensure proper function, cells need to be replenished. Thus, when they divide and replicate, telomeres shorten but the coding portion of the DNA strand stays intact. As the body continues to replenish itself, DNA synthesis fails to replicate a small amount of DNA at the end of strands. As a result, telomeres become shorter and shorter until cells can no longer divide. They encounter the Hayflick limit and become senescent, or in other words, inactive, or they undergo apoptosis, they die. However, some cells are able to slow this process down by the reverse transcriptase enzyme telomerase. Telomerase is a ribonucleoprotein that consists of an RNA primer. It binds to the free prime end of the telomere that is complementary to the RNA template. This primer allows for the addition of nucleotides forming single-stranded DNA. Once the nucleotides are added, telomerase relocates and adds more DNA bases. Once extended, telomerase leaves and an RNA primer binds to the end of the overhang, allowing for DNA polymerase alpha to add complements to the lagging strand. Unfortunately, telomerase only exists in very few areas in the body, including male germ cells, activated lymphocytes such as T-cells and B-cells, certain types of stem cell populations, and cancer cells. It is largely absent in somatic cells. In a sense, telomerase allows for cells to become immortal, as they can surpass the Hayflick limit and continue to divide, bypassing senescence and or apoptosis. On the other hand, this may promote tumorogenesis in cancer, but telomerase levels may too deplete with age. Thus, there's a fine line between optimal telomerase levels. So, how does this relate to aging? Why is this important? Well, without telomeres, DNA can be severely compromised, whether it be due to fusion with other DNA molecules or unwinding up strands. This delicate genetic blueprint is extremely susceptible to malfunction, which could lead to irreversible effects. Additionally, this process can be aggravated and accelerated by certain diseases and lifestyle choices. Psychological and cognitive stress have shown to worsen telomere length unlike healthy individuals. This is also implicated in patients with major depression and those with a lower socioeconomic status. A stressful life overall may complement the aging process. This surely may sound frightening, but perhaps this process can be slowed down. Interestingly, certain lifestyle choices can prolong life. Depression, stress, and anxiety can be improved by addressing these issues early on. This can occur in the form of mental health counsel, mindfulness, meditation, etc. A healthy diet and lifestyle can be adapted. It is important to maintain proper nutrition as intake of certain foods and supplements contribute to major molecular pathways that shape our bodies. This can be in the form of vegetables, fruits, nuts, and whole grains, which is essentially the Mediterranean diet. In addition, a 2010 study showed that consumption of fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids led to decreased telomere shortening. 
due to higher levels of omega-3s in the blood. It is a good idea to avoid the usual suspects when it comes to food and to maintain a steady weight. Those who engage in frequent changes, both weight gain and weight loss, are susceptible to telomere shortening. In addition to diet, certain forms of exercise can improve telomere levels. Studies show that moderate activity and high-intensity exercise are the best choices while other forms, such as weightlifting, have little effect. People with psychological problems such as high stress levels, depression, etc. benefit from exercise the most. But this does not mean that healthier individuals should sit around all day. Physical exercise is beneficial for all. Although individuals can take on healthy active lifestyles, it is difficult to quantify, let alone determine whether that will have any beneficial effect on a person's life or their longevity. Inherited diseases are often inevitable and cannot be prevented most of the time. The elderly are more prone to disease, infection, injury, and hence it is difficult to definitively state how effective these preventative or precautionary methods will be in the grand scope of things. Despite this, it is certainly better to take care of your body and avoid temporary and permanent harm. This way, one will have a positive outlook on life and will likely have a better future.